I'm going to have to really chop this up because it takes about 30 minutes and I'm only allowed 10 minutes on the uh, on the uh, program here so I'm going to be chopping this up a lot you're not going to get to hear a lot of the narrative that took place this was originally done on price scope P R I C E S C O P E. It's a wonderful place to go and learn about diamonds and gems. Driving, man. I had something saved somewhere called Top, so when I tried to upload this yesterday to show people. Here is the original diamond as it looked when we first got it, and as you can see, there's huge black inclusion here. Um, a little bit of, uh, of a, it's hard to see right here, what we call a lily pad inclusion. And um, you can see reflections of the inclusions on the far side. And the whole stone kind of takes on a gray appearance because that black is, is reflecting throughout the stone. It makes the whole stone look a little gray. And here is the same stone from the side. And now you can see a reflection of the lily pad. You're not actually seeing the lily pad, but you're seeing a nice reflection of the lily pad. Uh, the lily pad's actually right down in this area. And then this big black inclusion here, all up and around in here. And then also some more reflections. And I believe one of these is actually, I think that this may be another inclusion and this is a reflection of that. I'm not absolutely positive. And, um, then we are going to show you um, a perspective view. Again, you can see, and you can actually see in here that this inclusion reaches the side of the stone down underneath on the pavilion. And so it's reaching the side of the stone. And just a tremendous amount of black. And you can see again how much that stone is just gray because of the um, nature of the inclusions in it. Now, this stone, by the way, wasn't something that our client went out and purchased. This was passed down through the family. And uh, hang on a second here. Someone always wants to know these things. The, it's 162 to start. It is 162 to end. So we didn't lose any weight at all. When we and we didn't gain any weight at all when we uh, drilled out the inclusion and then laser or then clarity enhanced it. It's 6.84 by 6.73. Okay, now now that you've chosen to identify yourself, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about where in the family the stone came from? <laughs> Okay, so this is, uh, I'm going to translate that for those that uh, speak English. This is your grandmother. And is it, is it your, your grandmother on your mother's side or your father's side? Mommy, okay. And yet of black in here. And it doesn't actually look as dark from the back as it did from the, t from the top. But again, you can see that the whole stone has a grayish appearance to it. It definitely what I would call an I2 clarity, um, and not not that pretty, but it came from grandmother, and so we wanted to do some work with it and see what we could do. One, we wanted to see if we could drill the stone, and if we could drill the stone, um, and then also could we perhaps clarity enhance the stone. Well, thank you. Thank you. And here it is, folks. Check a look at this. Look at the dramatic improvement in this stone. Thousands of dollars drilling this thing. But it is incredible. And here to give you a better sense of the before and the after, I've cheated a little bit here. And I've taken this with the stone um, <laughs> welcome, welcome, Mr. Lurker. And uh, I've, I've oriented the stone in the same, as close to the same position as I can, um, so that this inclusion right here is 
right here, the same area, the same. You can see that I've lined this up very carefully, that, that this little included, um, facet edge here, same faceting. So it's the same orientation. And look how not only is the black gone, but look how bright the stone is by comparison. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, thank you. Yay! I'm, I'm not that good a photographer. It's a shame we couldn't send it to someone with a really great setup, but this gives you, I believe it's right now about an, uh, an IJ color. Um, and it would have been lower than that KLM color with a gray background body color rather than um, yellow. But it still has some, some color to it, but it's so much noticeably brighter and cleaner and more. This is this a, um, to show you both stones side by side, because I think this is the only way to truly see um, the incredible difference. And you can even see that I got the same shadow in the stone here and here. Um, well, in this case, it was plum. And there we go. It's nice. And then the bottom. Here's a quick shot of the bottom from the finish. And you can see that upside down, the stone still has a lot of shadow in it, uh, which you would expect looking through the bottom of a stone. And here's the bottom composite. And you can see the black over here. You can see the shadow in the stone, the shadow in the stone. These areas are the same. Um, I've got them lined up pretty close. They're off by about three degrees. You couldn't just actually superimpose the one over the other. but. Um, so, uh, John Quixote is giving us our cue. Enough of this crap, Wink. We want to see the real diamond. Okay, I can take a hint. So here we go. We're going to change over to my magic camera. Here it is, in real life, throwing off some dispersion and some sparkles. And of course, you can see right through that big old keylet that they did on these stones. But you're still getting a pretty fair amount of dispersion out of the stone and some sparkles. And you know, if you recall how dull and life this was when it was black, there was no sparkle. And of course, upside down, it's fairly dark. But this has a lot of life to it now, and it's a whiter, brighter looking sun. No, and you can't. See, that's the beauty of this. Um. <laughs> yeah, that would be a good way to call it. But, um, you know, I'm sure your grandmother wore this stone and enjoyed it because it was given to her by somebody special, probably your grandfather, I'm guessing. Um, and yet, how much more special is this going to be to you now that it's more beautiful? And, and instead of looking at your stone and thinking, oh my gosh, look at those big nasty inclusions, people are going to grab your hand and say, oh my god, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, now let me very slowly, I have to reach over and grab my stylus. OK, um, here you can see the laser drill hole. And right next to it, you can see the second laser drill hole. And here, refracted slightly to one side through the facet, is the continuation of the laser drill hole. Keep people more honest about it. And my comment to you and my comment to anybody is that when done properly with full disclosure, to take a stone that was not pretty and make it as beautiful as this one is, is that this is a highly ethical thing to do. Um, we've taken a stone that was not pretty, that had a great deal of sentiment for Love My Sparklies, um, and we've made it, in, in fact, quite beautiful. And that has to be ethical. 
we've run out of time. I hope you enjoy the presentation, and uh, as you can see, this really ended up fantastic.